You know what? Fuck the White Walkers. It is the AI Walkers that are going to kill you. Winter is not coming for you. AI revolution is coming for you. Good luck. By the end of this YouTube video, you will be able to create a video like that of Jon Snow. In this video, we're going to check the WAN 2.2 S2V still to video AI model and its results with LoRa enabled and without LoRa. As we know, enabling LoRa decreases the time by roughly five times because it reduces the steps by five times. With LoRa, we only need four steps in the workflow, whereas without LoRa, we need 20 steps in the workflow. I'll show you the results for both situations, LoRa enabled and without LoRa, as well. So let's get started with the workflow. The workflow you see right now is just a modified version of the default workflow that you will find in Comfy UI. To find this workflow, your Comfy UI needs to be updated, so make sure to update your Comfy UI to the latest version, and then go to Browse Templates and select Video. You will find the 1.2.2 S2V workflow there. Open this, and the only change we have made is loading the GGUF model instead of the scaled version. Of course, we're using the GGUF model so that we can use different quantized versions, which you can see here. There are many quantized versions, and you can pick one according to your GPU and your system. For my GPU, I've chosen the Q4KM version. So yeah, let's get back to the workflow again. If we talk about the inputs, you can see that I have loaded this image of Jon Snow. This is not an AI image. This is an image that I picked from the internet. And for the audio, this audio is created by me using the Vibe Voice AI model. So yeah, you can see Vibe Voice is pretty simple. You just need to give it an example audio, and it will copy that sound. And you can create any audio similar to that sound. That's what I have used here. I will soon publish how to use the Vibe Voice model as well. So, do subscribe and engage with this channel so that you do not miss out on it. I will post the Vibe Voice YouTube video on how to use it and how to set it up, as it is a bit complicated, and you will not find many tutorials on this simply because it's complicated, and I faced a few issues setting up Vibe Voice as well. So yeah, I'll be posting that video soon. Getting back to the workflow. Now this is the result that we got for the inputs. You know what? Fuck the White Walkers. It is the AI Walkers that are going to kill you. Winter is not coming for you. AI Revolution is coming for you. Good luck. Yeah, this was the result when we enabled LoRa and used just four steps in the workflow with LoRa. And of course, LoRa is to make this workflow fast. For my 16 gigabyte VRAM GPU, it took around 70 to 80 seconds just 70 to 80 seconds, to generate this video in only four steps, which is quite impressive, and the result was good. I'll show you an example of 20 steps as well. If we bypass LoRa and create this video in 20 steps, then this is the result that we got. You know what? Fuck the White Walkers. It is the AI Walkers that are going to kill you. Winter is not coming for you. AI Revolution is coming for you. Good luck. Let's see another result for a different input. Here is this woman. This is an AI-generated image of a woman. This is the audio that we are using. This is a bit complicated audio, so it will be interesting to see what result we get. This is the result that we got from just four steps. Like, people know me as Lisa of Blackpink, but when it's come to my solo, I want them to, to know me as La Lisa, like a real, real me. So yeah, of course, different seeds will give us slightly different results, but in this case, it's not giving any distorted or bad result. Coming back to the workflow. Yeah, I know that this workflow looks very complicated and huge, but we'll only pay attention to what is important. Here, this K sampler will generate a five second video, right? So we are using this other node, extend video which will extend our video by another five seconds. If we enable all three of these, then with this workflow, you can create a video of up to 20 seconds. If we want to create a video of just 10 seconds or maybe 15 seconds, we can bypass the nodes accordingly. And if you want to create a longer video, then we can add a new node into this series and we can create a video of longer duration. And the batch size that you see here is basically the number of batches it will use to generate the frames. 
If we're using just one batch here, then it will create all the frames in one batch. But if I had used three here, then it would have created this result in three batches, which would be better for a low RAM or low VRAM setup. I have posted the workflow with models download links and even the outputs with input images and audios on this website's blog page. You can find the link in the description. The website is called compareai.ai. So as the name suggests, this website basically compares different AI models for their outputs directly, side by side. You can change the prompts as well to check different use cases. For example, this image of a realistic woman. Now you can decide which AI model created a better output for a realistic image of a woman. And as you scroll down, you can compare AI models of different categories like image to video generative AI models. You can select different AI models to see their outputs and compare them with other AI models. And you can see there are more categories on this website. Here, we can see the head-to-head -head comparison of image editing AI models like Flux Context and Quen Editing AI. For example, we can see that Quen Editing AI was not able to spell it right, whereas Flux Context is good at spelling. This is not just the output from one generation. You can go to the methodology page of this website and see that they take five random C generations and review their outputs. So when the image editing AI made an error, it must be that even in five generations, the Quinn was not able to spell it right. Similarly, you can compare different video generative AI models like WAN 2.1 with WAN 2.2 and also Hunyuan AI with WAN 2.2. So, yeah, different combinations, which is quite helpful to see which AI model performs better for different use cases and different problems. Thank you for sticking with me till the end of the video. Please do like, subscribe, and share to support the channel and the website.